Hello everyone. God moves in a mysterious way his wonders to perform is a commonly used phrase that came from the pen of 18th century hymn writer William Cowper. It's used these days as an encouragement, sometimes humorously, to trust God's greater wisdom in times of trouble or confusion. But who would know that it came out of a heart and mind that once faced serious depression and was contemplating suicide? Cowper had a colleague and friend in his curate, John Newton, of Amazing Grace fame, who took hold of these words and published them the following year in his next collection of hymns. Was it a small act of kindness like this that helped Cowper to pull through? and go on to write many more hymns and poems in years to come? Who knows? But we do know that God inspired the Apostle Paul to pen these words to the young church in Rome. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Such a bold claim can be challenged when we see wars and holocausts, earthquakes and tsunamis, building fires and terrorists take innocent lives. Where is God in this is a fair question. An insurance company might call all these things intriguingly acts of God. But for anyone who has tasted God's all-encompassing embrace, God works in all things becomes a statement of fact born out of experience, good or bad. If you have tasted this love, compassion and forgiveness in Christ Jesus and responded to the call to follow him, these mysteries become the foundation of faith, the solid ground of trust. Quite a few years ago now, Bandmaster Bill Himes wrote a song that has come to be sung much and loved much. All that I am. Yet it was out of great personal pain on the early death of his wife that these words were inspired through the Holy Spirit and touch a chord in so many people's lives today. Bill's experience of God at work in all things caused him to write My all I give for you are live, Lord, come what may. Speaking personally, what was it that caused a young man from a farming background in South Wales and a young woman from a fishing port on the Lincolnshire coast to meet and get married and respond to God's call into full-time ministry 40 years ago? It is indeed a mystery of God's choosing that he should do this. But in Bill Heim's words and experience, I find great personal peace and purpose. And an echo of another songwriter who wrote, But we can never prove the delights of his love until all on the altar we lay. The widow who quietly put two small copper coins into the temple's collecting jars gave all she had to live on, said Jesus. Her giving was total, not token, and a true spiritual act of worship. A prayer together. Father God, the prophet Isaiah records your heart in these words. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. You have called us individually in a mysterious act of love and purpose. And not until we respond totally to that call can we enjoy the fullness of joy you have wisely planned for us. May our all that I am, all I can be, reflect our total trust in you in all things, at all times, and in all circumstances, for the sake of Jesus and his kingdom. Amen. 
God bless us, everyone. Thank you.